Shalom, shalom, and uh, we're finishing this week of the holiday, and obviously we come to the beginning of the reading of the Torah, where everything begins with Bereshit bara Elohim, in the beginning, or from the beginning, God created. With this in mind, we need to reflect on some of the happenings taking place in the secular world in regards to discussion, arguments, over the issue of anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism, known better, I think, as Jewish hatred, uh, is many times uh, misunderstood or misdefined, defined incorrectly. Many people think it's because of a person's culture, ethnicity, and in fact... There are things that are said in public that is termed as anti-Semitic and in fact is not. Things that perhaps have to do with obvious problems that take place in the Jewish community, its conduct. So what has taken place is really a very big problem. In most of the anti-Semitism definition derives from anything that sounds closely to whatever was taking place during the Holocaust period. And this is not the case. You can't discuss anything critically when it has to do with the Jews. If you do, you fall into the possibility of running afoul of being labeled an anti-Semite. Well, first of all, even the expression anti-Semite is a problem because there are a lot of people who are Semite and they're not Jewish. You have Arabs who are Semite. You have other people in in the Middle East who are Semites. But when it refers to Jews or Israelis, technically speaking, they too are Semites, but it's not necessarily anti-Semites. We have issues with attitudes and conducts of behavior. And you begin to criticize that among our people, you may be labeled an anti-Semite. If you go about and start saying Jews own the majority of the communication business, be careful, you may be labeled an anti-Semite. If you begin to say that certain conducts and behaviors run similar to those who completely go against Torah values, you may be labeled an anti-Semite. If you begin to say anything somewhat disparagingly or negative regarding a particular community's behavior and way of acting, you may be labeled an anti-Semite. And how terrible could that be? It's almost as if you you are declaring the person and labeling the person a hateful person, a racist. And thus we've taken the liberty in many of the different venues to hear people label other people as anti-Semites when in fact they're not. They basically are just bringing about points of view that may be disturbing to you or to a number of Jews. For example... When I begin speaking about Jews who don't believe in Torah, who don't believe in the religious basis of what makes them a Jew, a Jew, many times they look at me and they say, you are dividing our people. You're an anti-Semite. You are a Jew that hate Jews. And that's not the case. That would be the case in all of our prophets were major anti-Semites. Because they spoke very, very harshly upon the leaders and the people who were leading us as corrupt individuals. So let's make it very clear. It has nothing to do with anti-Semitism. Many times it's because you're speaking about a conduct or behavior or a culture within a culture that is very negative and very destructive. You cannot say that Epstein's behavior and conduct and his wealth was something good. You can't say either 
many of those who were involved in the Ponzi scheme were something positive. You cannot say that's what many, many very wealthy fellow Jews have done incriminating individuals and harming humanity is something positive. So if I say that, does that make me an anti-Semite? If I say that a particular Jew basically embraces all of the values that are completely contrary to Torah Judaism, is that anti-Semitism? If I begin to speak up and say what the liberal leftist agenda is, is completely contrary to Torah value and Torah truth, is that anti-Semitism? So how far will we go to protect our fellow Jews and embrace them under the guise of atheism, agnosticism, and completely God-hatred, God-hatred of our Torah, and still say they are good Jews? We have to remove the mask that we have placed upon ourselves that have caused more harm to our fellow Jews than keeping it on. It's about time that we begin to talk about this topic because everybody's afraid of another, another Holocaust taking place when the very perpetrators of the creation of a new Holocaust are the very liberal leftist Jews that are creating the culture and environment of doing that. And by me saying that, am I now an anti-Semite, an anti-Jew? My friends, let us be clear. Not all Jews behave like Jews. Not all Jews embrace the religious aspects of Judaism. And not all Jews feel comfortable when they are being spoken about because it brings them back to the time when our prophets would rebuke our people for behaving not like Jews, but as pagans. Think about that for a second. So today's Jews, a great number of them, are practical pagans, but disguised as religious or just regular Jews with no religious affiliation or little at that. 